Yeah, four years. Four years, four years. I am now going to head overland, more bicycling into Myanmar. All right, I made it here to Pa'an, 104 kilometers on the bicycle today. I checked into a little hostel here, which I thought was gonna be empty, but there's a few other foreigners around. I'm mostly recovered from my food poisoning, and I'm gonna head out from Pa'an, cycle towards Yangon, possibly stop in Taton, which is nearby, or continue on to Kekto if I'm feeling good and it's not too wet. It is raining right now though, so let's see. So this is one of those situations where unfortunately the people are going to think that I don't understand because I came to go see these caves, but the land here to get to the caves is flooded. So everybody's going out on this boat, but it is clearly a motorboat, which I cannot take. So I could potentially explain to them that I really want to paddle on a different boat or a smaller boat, but a lot of these don't even look like they have much of a paddle. It's not too far to the cave, but it's also, I'd have to leave my bike here which would probably be okay, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna keep on cycling. I was hesitating coming up here anyways, just cause it's not raining now and I sort of want to make distance while it's not raining. So, yeah, I think I'll just continue back. <laughs> you can see the entrance to the cave over there. There's supposed to be some hot springs up over there as well, which part of what was drawing me over there to go for the hot springs. But I have a feeling they're probably not hot right now because they're flooded with this water. So I'll just bike back to the main road. It's not far, less than a kilometer. Continue on to Yangon. crossing the bridge here out of Pa'an. Yeah, traffic likes to get close, as you can see. lunch here, ordered my fried noodles and they uh, brought me donuts. I'm sure they're all staring at me behind me. So I just hunted down a massage at this, this hotel here that's just up the street from my guest house uh, where they said they weren't giving massages but uh, I found a place and I paid 5000 for a foot massage. I had one lady massaging my arms the whole time and one lady on my feet the whole time. It was amazing. Now I'm up here at the restaurant on the top floor which has a beautiful view of Thaton which I just bicycled to from Hapa'an today. It was about uh, 50 kilometers dodging the rain most of the day. Last minute day, 140. I think I've gone maybe about 50 kilometers today, which is really not a lot. It's been very wet, but it is drying out now, which is nice. Although it looks dark ahead. Just noticing uh, a lot of the room, a lot of the houses here have these thatch roofs palm that. Some have metal roofs. A lot have a combination of the two. X marks the spot where I hit my head off the ceiling again. <laughs> 
Uh, that's, I don't know, probably the third time in the past few years here in Asia. At the end of the day yesterday, walking up the stairs of the guest house with all my stuff, and I just came out of nowhere. That second floor ce ceiling of the first floor nailed me. Gushed blood a bit. I don't think I was filming, but I got a pretty good photo of it. Anyways, it's, it's okay. It's not that bad. I do have a butterfly strip on there to keep it closed. It stopped bleeding fairly fast, although I did bleed all over the pillow last night at the guest house. Felt sort of bad for that. Sounds like somebody's right outside my door. Had a pretty decent day today. Bicycled about uh, 90 kilometers on that thing right there. Found a cheap-ish guest house. It's actually above my budget. It's $25 to stay here. It's a nice room and it was pouring rain at the end of the day here. So tomorrow I'll be in Yangon not paying for any accommodation because I have friends and places to stay there. So I splurged tonight. I also need to actually edit a vlog, maybe order some room service because room service here is actually just as cheap as going out to a restaurant, which I don't even know if there is one around here. Peace. So I'm just here in uh, somewhere in Myanmar, as you saw yesterday. I smashed my head on the ceiling of my room. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it hurt. Patched it up and I should be fine. Mingalava. Yeah, I'm just cycling towards Yangon now. Uh, it's 170 kilometers distance to get there, so I don't know if I'll make it today. But uh, I'm gonna give it a shot, depending on the weather and the rain. See, maybe I'll go, maybe I won't. And uh, otherwise, I'll stop after 90 kilometers, I think, in a town. It's been pretty flat most of the day, and the sun has actually come out. I was just for the rain, so I might actually start getting burnt here. But, anyways, I'm on this bridge, and it seems to be a bit difficult for people to get by. So, I'm gonna keep on cycling, head towards the end. Going. at my first Mohinga in uh, Myanmar and those lovely folks over there bought it for me. Awesome. The OK Tea Center. And I'm just uh, final day into Yangon here from the Royal Land Hotel. Basically a motel, though it had a very nice buffet breakfast. Time to get moving. This is a common sight, not only here in Burma, but everywhere in Southeast Asia. The amount of garbage and plastic pollution is out of control here. Seems like their solution here has been to get a dozer in and just push it to the side. There's somebody about to add to the garbage. Dumping his shit there, I'm sure. Other than that though, this road looks quite nice. A lot of trees, that's rare to see trees in the middle of the road. It's very nice. All right, just coming into Yangon here, just basically went from industrial slash countryside to city all of a sudden. A lot more traffic, it's pretty crazy, but I'm dodging around, making it okay. This is a very mellow spot actually. Which is why I have the camera out. But check out how good it gets. I'm 
<laughs> Pretty nice actually. I think that might be the Schwedegon Pagoda ahead. <laughs> 